Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello there, my name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from the Department of Business Administration, Nasara State University, Kafi. In this video, I'm going to show us how we can use the LMS. LMS stands for Learning Management System of the Nasara State University, Kafi. This video, I'm going to show you the different parts with working with LMS. First, we'll tell you how to log on to the portal, LMS portal of Nasara State University. Secondly, how to create your course. Thirdly, how to add your course material. Fourthly, how to add the course video. Let's start. The first thing you do is you go to your browser. You go to your browser and you will write, you will start with lms.unsuk.edu.ng. It will open this page, it say ready to get started. So the first thing you do is to log on to the LMS page. So you go to the top of your browser you click on this you click on this after clicking on that it brings you to the login page now the login the default login page for all the staff is our ss number ss 0470 that is my own but i have changed my own login so this is my username and my password so you click login so this is the first part once you are logged in once you are logged in it will bring you to this so if you go by the step given you see once you log in you can use your staff id and the default password is one two three four five six two eight you use it to log in. Once you are logged in, you land on this page, which is this page. So, depending on your browser, you will see that it will show faculties up here. So, if you cannot see faculty there, you can click on this ellipsis. Once you click this ellipsis, you will see faculty here. The second option is you can up, scroll down rather, you will see faculties under. So, I faculty of administration. I will click on Faculty of Administration. So it brings me to the landing page of Faculty of Administration. So in Faculty of Administration, we have the departments, we have accounting, this box by the side, we have banking and finance, this box by the side. In accounting, they have created nine courses, banking and finance, eight courses. We have business administration, which is my own department. We have entrepreneurship study. We have marketing. We have public administration. We have taxation. I mean, business administration. You click on the departmental name, not the box here. If you click on the box here, it is going to show you all the courses that were created in the department. So you click on the departmental name. So, it has brought me to the Department of Business Administration. So, we scroll down. These are the courses that have been created in this department. Entrepreneurship Study, Business Development, Introduction to Economics and Finance, Intro to Business Management, Element of Economics, Business Law, these are the 10 courses that have been created and it shows those that have created them. This was created by John Adigizi, Abdulaziz Jibrin, Godwin. So these are the name of the lecturers that created those courses. 
Now, how do you create your own course? So you scroll down. At the end, you will see these two things. Here, we have Manage Courses. Manage Courses is for those that have created courses. They will, they will be able to manage your courses. Then, Add New Courses. So the objective of this video is to show us how to add new courses. So we create on Add a New Course. Click on Add a New Course. This bring up, this open this page. Add a new course. So let me take us through before I start populating the information here. First, you see category. Uh, add a new course. Uh, general. We have course full name. Now the course full name, you provide it in this column. Now if you look at here, we have this red button and we have this button with question mark. Now the red one if you take your cursor to it you can see it's showing required it means the field here is compulsory you must fill the field here it's required then here you have question mark if i take my cursor to it it's showing help with course full name so if you want to understand what you are supposed to do here you click on it it will show you it will explain what you are supposed to do there for you. So this is telling me the full name of the course is displayed at the top of each page in the course and in the list of courses. So it has explained. So I am going to create a course for element of finance. So I'll type element of finance. That is the name of the course. Then course short name. We use the course code BOSS215. Then course category that will be populated automatically by your faculty and the department. Then we have course visibility. Course visibility. Now, if you click on this, it is showing hide and show. So once you are creating the course, it is important you hide the course. Then you can show it to those that will pick the course once you have completed. So um, I'll select hide. Then course start date. When the course is starting. So normally we have the date the semester starts, lecture starts, and the date it ends. So we use that date here. The date the semester lecture will start will be the start date so for me i'm going to use on 29 uh, 27th of march which is monday and it will end one month from now 27th of april 2023 so don't bother to set the time because this is an online course the student can take it anytime then course ID number you can click the question and see so only use one machine the course against external system so for me I'm going to still write my code course 219 then course description course description so you write the course description here write my course description this is my course description you can refer it to a link you copy and paste if you have it somewhere that you have written the course description you just copy and paste like i did just now then the course image normally we have agreed that the cost image should be the university logo you go to where you save your logo so So I'll choose the file. I save it on my desktop as Unsuk logo. Open, upload the file. You can as well drag and drop. You can as well drag and drop it here. Then the course format. 
the course format we are going to use you can use topic format or weekly format so we we'll use weekly format the number of sections since it's on a weekly basis weekly we are four weeks in a month that is why it's automatically populated Hidden section are shown as now available. We leave it as default. Cost layout, we also leave it as default. We go to appearance. For language, it is English. So you leave it as do not force. Number of announcement. If you would like to make announcement to your student, you can play around with it. Anything you don't understand, press the question mark. Show great books to students. So we leave them as a uh, default files and upload it is set automatically to two megabytes because most of our file we are uploading is going to be um, by providing links completion tracking if you want a student taking the course to be tracking their completion you select yes we we'll leave it as default if you want to create groups group mode for student whether it's separate a group or visible group you select then rule renaming sometimes you are taking the course two or three people taking a course the role that each person will serve in the course this is where you rename the role then you have tags sometimes also we have tags that are related to our courses you can add them here like a uh, in business admin, in this course, we have time value of money. So we have uh, interest. So this is how once you type it, you hit enter. Then other field, you leave it as default. Then you now save and return. You click save and return. So this is the first part on how to create course and ensure everything you have done they are is populated especially those areas that are compulsory so you click save and return now the third part once we have clicked and return and our course is created this is the course it is created this is our course, the course that we just created. Now, the second part is what we have done, creating your course. Then, the third part is how you add your course material. So, how do we add our course material? So, you come back, click on the course, element of finance. So once the course opened, you can see the course has opened. Now you come down here in the middle of your screen, you see edit mode. So click on the button in front so that you set your course to edit mode. This means that you can edit everything you have created on the course. You can edit, you can add course. This is the course. We are now in edit mode. So let's look at it once after the other. First, is announcement announcement now if you want to add activity on the announcement you click this add an activity or resources so I have an announcement let me click it so once I click it it could be assignment book chart choice these are all the things that you can add so assuming I want to add a chart I'll click on chart. So name of this chart room is assignment. Then the description student So the students should discuss this topic among themselves. The topic is time value of money.
So the, the session, this is the period. Don't publish any chart. So I'll save and return. So I have added the activity. This is the activity here. Now on 26th, on 28th to 3rd April, I want to add my lecture note. So I'll click here. So make sure the lecture note is on your system. So in this case, I'm going to add a file. A file. So I'll click a file. So the topic is majors majors of portfolio performance and the description so this explains all the measures of portfolio performance so i can drag and drop like i said earlier but let me follow the file part is on my desktop so choose file desktop so measures of portfolio performance open so upload this file click upload the file so the file is here so appearance automatic embedded you can force download that is once they click on the material it will download open it will open it will pop up so i want it to be in pop up i'll click in pop up show size then every other one you can go through them and show and check if there is tag you can add your tags So you will save and return also. The next thing I want to add videos for these lectures. So I'll click add resources. So this time you can add video link. So you have your video on your YouTube or the YouTube of the school somewhere. So you click URL. So video one, then we paste the link here. So you can you can follow this process to go and download the link. But we we'll copy the link and put it there. So let me go to where I have my links. So these are my links. I have three links here. I'll copy hyperlinks. Go back and paste hyperlink. So that is the link. This video explain sharp ratio. So Every other thing we leave it like that. We save and return. So the video is here. Then I want to add another video. We'll go to URL. So this is video two. Bring the link also. Copy the hyperlink. Paste the link.
So this video is on trainer ratio. So we save and return. So I have the second video here. So if you have other resources in the second week, you put them here. Third week, fourth week, like that until the end of the uh, the lecture period. That is how you include them. So once you are done, once you are done, then you can go back to your faculty. Go back to your faculty. We are faculty of administration. Business administration. I want to check the course again. So this is the course. This is the course element of finance. So this is the course. So these are the things I uploaded. So I want to click on them and see how they will appear in our course. First, I'll click on assignment. So you can see how it's appearing. The students should discuss this. Is their, this is the assignment. So everybody will enter their shots here when they are taking the course. So after this, the next thing you can see here, you can click it to, to take you to the next resources. So the next resources, we have major of portfolio performance, which is our lecture. So we'll click on it, the lecture notes or material. Let me click on it and see. We say it should pop up on our browser. So I click on it and see it has popped up. It has popped up, it's opening. No, it has downloaded. So this is the download link here. Let me click it. So this is the lecture note. This is the lecture note. Measures of portfolio performance. Let me go back. So you can click here to go to the next link, which is video. So this is the video. This is the link. You can click it and see. Let it play. So, Hi, I'm Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This video is a presentation on sharp ratio as a major of portfolio performer. The video is playing. So that was that was video one. So you can click here to go to the second video. So this is the second video, we can click on it and see. It will play on the same browser. Hello there, I'm Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In this video, I want to show you trainer ratio. Trainer ratio is a major portfolio performance. So if you want to go back, you navigate with this arrow. This is showing you go back to your material. If you want to go front, you click here, you go back. If you want to jump to any of those material, you can click here and you jump to, to that material. Assuming I want to go back to announcement, I will just click here. I think and it will take me back to announcement automatically. You can see it has taken me back to announcement automatically. So this is how we use um, so this that is how we add course material and how we can check our course material. So if we want to add video, I have demonstrated that. So there are some certain tips. If you want to produce your video first, the background 
if you want to show yourself use steel and plain or beautiful background to avoid distraction movement avoid moving object or people in the background or in front of you do during your recording camera use good camera with clean lenses lighting always record where there is a very good lighting and let your camera lens back the light while the light shine on you test recording always do test recording before the actual recording so frame noise script this all makes your video in a perfect good shape and if you do screen recording like i do for most of my courses you do not necessarily have to show in the video so you can use obs studio this is what i am using to do this recording you can see this is the obs studio i only i use it to do screen recording you can see showing stop recording here so if i click there the recording will stop so this is how we do lms we'll do our courses on lms in nasara state university Tafi. now before i close i want to draw our attention sometime when you log in when you log in you will see that it will show some certain aspect it will show some certain aspect that you won't be able to go further so in that case click on your profile you click on your profile and update your profile if your profile is not properly updated you may not be able to go further and sometimes you have a logged in you you are on the lms but you cannot see add those add courses or manage courses then check your login to ensure that you are properly logging thank you for listening